and we're live. Hey everybody, welcome into the at Flippin Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star the Flippin Hippo and today we're going to be doing part one of our thrift haul from the weekend. This will be done in two parts. We did get only 104-ish items but a lot of them were plush. I have two giant bags of plush to go through which we'll get to tomorrow and the hard goods and the shoes. And today we're just gonna take a look at all of these clothes to my left. Let's say hello to some folks. Liz, Thrifty Christy, Wade's Ventures is here. Hey, first, second, third, and fourth. Welcome in, thanks for coming. Maisie's here. So this week we're going to split the haul into two videos. Today I'm gonna to be starting with opening a package. Um, and then we'll jump into my booty shorts. I got some booty shorts. I got a lot of booty shorts. I like booty shorts. I also like saying booty shorts because I'm 12. Hey, slow hand seekers, welcome in. So, Goodwill was closed Sunday because it was Easter Sunday. So the Goodwills in our area did their 99, I'm waving this around. They did their 99 cent sale on Saturday instead of on Sunday. So we went to Goodwill on Saturday. We went to two Goodwills. We got a total of 140, 104, 104, 104 items. We paid $104.23 between the two Goodwills, which averages out to 99 cents or a dollar if you round up per item. It was like 0.997. So we'll say we paid a buck an item on average a lot of 50 cent plushies, which we'll see tomorrow. I'm kind of like doing a longer intro because I want to wait and see if Lisa does come. I did message her today. Um, those of you that are in our Facebook group know Lisa. And she sent me this little, this little package. And I did message her. She was running errands. Um, and I did tell her I was going to go live and open it. So I kind of want to wait and see if she shows up. She seemed to be really excited. Wanted to be here when it happened. Full disclosure. I know what's in here. I know there's two and I've seen one. I don't know what the second one looks like. But I have been sent a photo of one of the items in here. And, spoiler alert, he already has a name because he looked like a Hank. But that's all I'll tell you until we open it and uh, wait for Lisa to come in. Uh, CC Nagel says, <laughs> was looking at shorts today and couldn't stop thinking about you and your booty shorts. Um, booty shorts are booty shorts. They're, if they're short, that's the term you can use for them. Any shorts that are short or mini shorts. This is a skirt. That's not a good example. Here's a skirt. Um, booty shorts are like these or shorter. I use, for keywords on eBay, I use keywords like booty, mini, short. But booty shorts is my favorite thing to say. And I did come home with a whole slew of them and a skirt. Because I guess I thought this was, um, I thought it was shorts until we got it out of the dryer after it was washed and dried. And I said, this is a skirt. But hey, you know what? Denim skirts do really well too. So, um, why don't we go ahead and jump in and start looking at some of the haul, and then if we get all the way to the end and Lisa doesn't poke her face in, I'll go ahead and open the box at the end and she can watch the replay, but I want to give her a fair chance to get in. Okay, so, uh, let's start with, uh, some swimsuits. I didn't get very many of those. I only, like, really get them if they're 99 cents or a super duper good brand. This is Catalina. Hey, Fatima, welcome in. So this is a brand of swimsuits that last summer I did well with. So I'm hoping it happens again. Um, I had found a slew of tankinis last summer at our old Honey Pot thrift store before it closed. Some were new with tags, some weren't. And they went anywhere from 15 to 30 bucks. So Catalina is a brand I look for. This is just a one piece blue plain, but it was 99 cents. They can be way shorter. That's the thing. Um, I use the term interchangeably on shorts that are short. 
Um, definitely the ones, if you can see the inner pocket sticking out and butt cheeks are hanging out, those are booty shorts. <laughs> hey, Tiffany. Um, oh, there it is. This is a three piece. So being Goodwill, they charged me 99 cents per piece. Kind of bummed out. Um, at our honeypot thrift store last year, they used to put all the two and three pieces together for one price, but that's okay. This is Victoria's Secret. Can you see it? And it is a tankini. I guess these are supposed to be like gold and silver chains. So there's a tankini. There's a bottom. And there's a swim skirt cover up thing. I'm probably going to call it a swim skirt. Anyway. $3 for all three, and I will be selling them together. And now I'm yawning. I'm so sorry. It's not you guys. It's not you. It's me. One more swimsuit. So this is new with tags. Trying to find the brand. Full tilt. So, you know, whatever. I don't always care about the brand. This was new with tags and it was 99 cents. It's a push-up padded bikini. It's got a cool um, print. I like selling swimwear too. I just really like it when I can find more than a small handful each week. Um, but I still look every week. I used to get a lot more when we have our honey pop thrift up the street. These are Under Armour. So these are like athletic running workout shorts. They're pink and gray with dots. They are Under Armour and they were 99 cents. And then the skirt I was waving around in the beginning is Old Navy denim mini skirt. I do well, I do well with denim period. Denim skirts, denim jackets, denim shorts, jeans. And I still pick up the mall brands. This is Celebrity Pink. It's not that great of a brand. But here's the thing about denim shorts. Even if the brand is like run of the mill or mall brands, most people are still willing to pay 16 to 20, 22 ish for those brands, even. And they're first class. So these have cute flap pockets and they're cutoffs. And they were 99 cents. I got some ugly yellow shorts. They're Ann Taylor Loft. And they are yellow. They are very, very, very bright yellow. And I think that they were a small, small size. So they're size zero. And um, I do really well, if you've heard me say this before, I'm sorry to repeat myself. I do really well with really, really small sizes on the opposite end of the spectrum of plus size. These are old and navy boyfriend denim shorts. And they're black. And they're cuffed. So, like, they're meant to be cuffed. They're sewn to be cuffed. And, I'm sorry guys, it is not you, it is me. <laughs> I um, haven't been getting a lot of sleep and it's raining and gray outside, which always makes me just so much, so ready for a nap. Each time the skies are gray and it's rainy, I'm just like, nap time. These are a size six, so they're, you know, not really that great of a brand, not really that great of size, but they are old navy boyfriend and I'm shorts and they were 99 cents. This brand is X2. Now, this is a brand of jeans I used to when we first started. I used to get the X2 um, jeans for 99 cents. I do not source them anymore. They used to sell for us from 20 to 22 bucks, and they moved really quick. And then whatever happens to used clothing on eBay happened. Oversaturated, too many people underpricing them, just running them to the bottom. Um, I still have some leftovers from when I was still sourcing them towards the end. Um, so I don't 
really look for this brand in jeans anymore, but I, I will get it in the denim shorts. These ones are distressed and have hems. And if you can hear Keith, because I can hear Keith, it's really loud. He's making dinner so that I can do this haul video. Isn't he awesome? But he's loud. I don't, oh, I know what this is. I'm like, what is this? I found this in with the jeans randomly just in with the jeans someone had moved it it was 99 cents victoria beckham for target so not that great of a brand but it is a 3x it was 99 cents it is a great plus size it is a great like summer dress up evening dress it has these pretty flowers on it and this like ruffle on the bottom I'm sorry, reading the chat. Yep, I'm with Rhonda. I will buy any denim shorts and or booty shorts, 99 cents. They do really well. You can almost sometimes, not even almost, you can absolutely sometimes get more for a pair of denim shorts in some brands than you can get for full size jeans. Aeropostale is a good example. Guess is a good example. We just shipped out a pair of Guess shorts today that sold on eBay for $21. Um, they're less material, and half the time they're ripped and destroyed, but you can get more money for them than you can the short, the full-size jeans. These are airy, <clears throat> excuse me, and these are like real soft. They're not even like denim. They're supposed to have a jean short look cut off, and they're real soft and comfortable, and they have the lace up there. Yes, I do put booty in the title. I use, um, as, if room allows it, the three keywords I like to put in are short, like I say women's shorts, size, and then keywords later I try to put short, booty, and mini. And then on Poshmark I just slap it right in the title, booty shorts. This is another Ann Taylor Loft size zero. These are green like chino shorts or khaki chino, whichever you want to call it. Both good keywords. 99 cents. I think I'm getting into the men's shorts. I feel like I got more denim shorts than that, but maybe I didn't set them all out to show you guys. These, no, these are women's. These are plus size Gloria Vanderbilt khaki chino shorts they're gray or green and I picked them up because they're 99 cents and they are size 18 and so there are more women's okay I'm not crazy these are I've never even heard of this Revia never even heard of this brand and they're size 8, but they were 99 cents, and they're cute. They are pink plaid Bermuda shorts. I just think these are just so adorable. If they were my size, they would be mine. Um, actually, no, I don't, Liz. I switch my focus, but I don't only buy what's in season. Like two weeks ago, I showed three or four wool coats and denim jackets I got. I buy jeans year round. In fact, they're on the bottom here to show you. Um, I just changed my focus. So in the spring and summer, I do bring home a lot of shorts and swimsuits, but I still look at jackets, coats, and jeans. And then in the fall and winter, I get a lot more jeans and I don't really look at shorts and swimsuits. I also get more cherry picky in the spring and summer with my jeans. And then in the fall, it's like a free for all. If it's 99 cents and it's bread and butter, we grab it. But I do source out of season. I never pass up on anything that's amazing or good. If I found a 99 cent leather coat or wool jacket in the middle of 120 degree weather summer, I would pick it up and list it. I don't even hold anything back. 
but I do try to focus more on what's going to move quicker, if that makes sense. Uh, Maisie, there really is no average for, you know, across the board. It all depends on brand, size, are they jean, are they not jeans, um, what do they look like, do they have graphics, there's a lot, um, there's a lot that can go into how you're going to price them, but since I get, you know, 99% of ours for 99 cents, I just get them all. Hey Jennifer, welcome in, thanks for joining us. New to reselling. Um, if you're new, start on eBay. That's what I always recommend. It's probably the most convoluted and hardest to learn, but it's the most forgiving for new sellers. And you can sell anything, and you have the biggest platform with the most eyeballs looking at you. And it's not as time intensive as Poshmark or Macari can be. Yep, Rhonda Swimwear does sell in the winter for people. Usually what happens with all the swimwear that's left in our store at the end of summer, it will start to sell, um, like you said, in December, November, January. Um, but yeah, as far as like a, a blanket price, there really isn't any, like I could tell you that if you give me like a brand and a size, I could probably tell you what I would start it at off the top of my head. But like... American Eagle distressed jeans aren't going to go for as much as, um, no, guess wouldn't go for as much as American Eagle. It's like convoluted. People are willing to pay more for jeans, shorts, than they are jeans most of the time. So these are size zero. Again, I got them because they're the teeny weeny size. They're pink chinos, 99 cents. These are Old Navy, size 10. So they're kind of just in the middle of the road, average size, but 99 cents. They're orange and they're cute. Somebody wears a size 10. And I like them for the bright color. These I liked because they're green. I like to pick up the different colors. Um, I find that those are kind of popular. Like people like the different bright colors in the summer, I think. Um, size four, they're Banana Republic. 99 cents. They're like, these are booty shorts, but they're also chino or khaki. These are American Eagle. I love American Eagle denim shorts and jeans. I do really well. They're one of my best um, bread and butter or filler brands. These are size zero, so they're wee little. And they have the flat pockets and stuff. Those are definitely booty shorts. More American Eagle. No, these are Aeropostale. Sorry. Size 5, 6. Again, 99 cents. I'll grab them in any size. I found some corduroys. These are Charlotte Russe. Again, not that great. Actually, the Charlotte Russe in our mall just went out of business a couple months ago. Um, but... For 99 cents, these are junior size 11. They're brown, stretchy corduroys. And these are Express Linen Blend, size zero. So even though they're just Express, they're one of the materials I do recommend people picking up if you see it. Linen is definitely good in pants, shorts, skirts, shirts, whatever you can find it. And people like linen, you can charge a little bit more for it. And I thought these were cute with the three buttons. Yeah, there's a, a plenty more women's shorts. I wasn't crazy. These are Old Navy. So Old Navy has a line of shorts that are called like the perfect something shorts. These are the perfect five inch shorts. They have like the perfect Bermuda. If you see those and they're 99 cents or a buck or two, pick them up any size. They do really well. I think that these may have been a popular style amongst Old Navy um, fan, fans. Can you be a fan of clothing? I think the Old Navy Perfect Shorts people really liked. And it may not be something they carry anymore. Because anytime I put any of these in the store, they fly off the shelf. These are low-rise size 4. And these are... Sorry. Not you guys. It's the weather. Um, 
These are Mossimo size 7 low rise Target brand, but for 99 cents, I will grab the denim shorts like this. Believe it or not, Mossimo actually has a following, and it's another brand I like to get if I can find it for 99 cents, and it's something that's cute. Now we're into the men's. So I found these Stephen Berry's men's um, cargo shorts. They're green, and I've done well with this brand in men's jeans, so I decided to try a pair of the shorts for 99 cents. I feel like I just keep saying 99 cents because I really don't know that we paid um, full price for much. If anything, I did get a Batman and a Captain America and a Suicide Squad t-shirt for myself. Those were $1.99, but they weren't for resale. I tend to keep a lot of the comic book shirts for my sale. These are Morona, which is just like a mall brand. I believe Morona is JCPenney. Um, but they're like a light green, like a sea green, I guess. Morona, 33 waist for men. Hey, Roger. Welcome in. Thanks for joining us. Um, these are actually not for resale. Those are for Vegas. Uh, Nautica, 32 waist. Look at these, though. I think that some guy somewhere needs to have these in his life. They're sky blue. They're so pretty. Some guy wants those. He'll want them. He'll get them. Morona is also Target. I swear it was in JCPenney's at one point or Kohl's or something like that. I feel I'm gonna have to like not that I don't believe you, but I actually used to work at Target, so I know Mossimo was a Target brand. And I feel like even I don't know. I feel like Morona was in the mall at one point. Could be Target. I haven't worked there in a while, but these are Dockers. And I would call these like chinos. That's gonna drive me nuts. I'm gonna have to look that up. I really feel like my memory, unless I have like a bad memory or early onset Alzheimer's. I've never seen Maroon at Target when I worked there. And Keith's sister worked there for a long time. And I feel like Megan Mawinney told me it was a mall brand. I don't know. You could be right. And I could just not be remembering things right. Okay, I've never heard of this. But... For 99 cents for men's shorts that are striped and cool looking like this. These look like, I don't know, these look like some guy would wear these to the beach or on a boat cruise. Pretty much for 99 cents, you guys, I'm not really picky. We'll get a lot of our bread and butter and um, filler items for 99 cents. Maisie says, my hippo plush are so cute. Thank you. I actually have my hippo shelf set up. I'm just not filming in front of it. Um, but thank you. They like to think they're cute, too. Uh, Marana is... So when did... I'm going to have to look this up. Not that I'm not believing you guys, but it's making me question my own sanity. You can't have worked at a place... For as long as I did and not know that. It's driving me, it's gonna drive me nuts. Like, what the heck's wrong with my memory? Uh, this is INC, International Concept, men's plaid shorts, 99 cents. Yes, we have our end game tickets already purchased probably three weeks ago. Um, we're not going on opening night. On Thursday, um, we are actually waiting for our friend who's in the Army and doesn't get back into the United States that often to visit. He's actually coming in this weekend to see us, and so we are going on Saturday, so we kind of waited for him. Um, that's how much Keith and I love our friend. 
not many people we wait for to see Endgame. But yeah, we'll be going on Saturday. We're waiting for our friend to come in so um, we can all see it together. This is Zara. Men, Colleen will like this. She does a lot of this brand. I see her posh closet full of it all the time. It's just a nice long sleeve men's red dress shirt. And it was 99 cents and it's a large. That's cool of you. <laughs> He's like one of our bestest, most bestest friends in the whole world. So it's worth waiting for him. I'm just going to have to absolutely avoid social media from Thursday night at midnight through Saturday night. Because if I get any spoilers, I'm going to go postal. Um, Eagle Dry Goods, size large. Not a good brand, but it was 99 cents and it's a good graphic. See how cute that is? But yeah, if you are huge, super dorks and comic book movie lovers and comic book lovers and Marvel lovers, Endgame is kind of like the movie they've been building us all up for, for, gosh, long time. Um, like eight years now, maybe? Um, they've been building up to this for a long time in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And we, you know, we all look forward to it a lot. So nobody wants spoilers. We all just want to go in and enjoy the movie. So Vans is a good brand for shoes. So for 99 cents, Keith decided to bring home this brown plaid flannel and give it a shot. Oh, well, thank you for your service, Roger. I did not know that about you. That's awesome. Colleen? Um, I can't believe you've never heard of Endgame. It's like the end-all, be-all Avengers movie of 2019. And you know enough nerds that you had to have heard of it. It's all we've been talking about for... A long time someone said 11 years yeah I was thinking in my head I that it was like 11 or 12 years but that would make my old my youngest he would have been four when they started and that seemed a little too young but you're you could you know but we've already proven today my memories poop he's on palm trees but yeah we have a tradition every year to go to each new Marvel movie when it comes out in the MCU. We get new t-shirts to wear with characters from the movie and we all go in a big group and we're nerds. And we haven't been able to do that in a long time since our friend Jeremy got, um, he got into military intelligence and he's like never in the country. So this will be really exciting for all of us. Those million dollars of advertising went to waste. I kind of feel like that. Like, how could you not have heard of the Avengers? It's like, I don't do sports, but I kind of always know who's going to the Super Bowl and vaguely know it's in January because everyone else is talking about it. Okay, maybe I don't always know who's going, but I know there's a Super Bowl. <laughs> and I've been putting previews to it on my Facebook wall, Colleen, for a while. London Jean. I think we're down to the women's jeans that I'm showing you. Uh, these were 99 cents. Never really cared for this brand, except that these are cute. These are plaid. Plaid pants. And then we have cut from the cloth. All of these things were 99 cents. I feel like I've been forgetting to say that. I haven't found one yet we paid full price for. And we may not have except for my my, my few t-shirts I picked out. Um, these are the Diana Skinny. Not a great size, but this is one of those brands of jeans that I will pick up in any size, especially when they're 99 cents. Um... Let's do all those together. I got a few of the same brand. I'm going to do them all together because I want to, I'm going to talk a minute about that brand. Um, here's one that I pick up anytime I see it, but only for 99 cents. I will not pay full price for this. This is YMI. 
Wanna Bet a Butt. They're legitimately called Wanna Bet a Butt. They only sell their first class. First of all, they come in real small sizes and they're very thin and they're very lightweight. So they do ship first class. They, I usually start them around 19 or 20 and then I'll take like, wow, the sun just came out. I'll take like a best offer, like maybe 17, sometimes 16. Um, so they don't sell for a lot and that's why I won't pay more than 99 cents for them. But the reason I will always pick them up if I can find them for 99 cents is because they never sit in our store for longer than three or four days and they usually go overnight or within the first day. And any size. I've had, um, these are 14 so that's great. But I've had really small sizes, I've had junior sizes. There's something about these one about a butts. They don't sell for a lot, but they go super fast in all sizes. Y'all can see that sign, right? It's like coming out. So this is a definite bolo, but only for like a buck if you can find it. Because I don't really know that I'd want to invest $6.99 in these, no matter how fast they sell, if I was going to take a best offer of $17, you know what I mean? But then again, that's up to you. You can do that if that, that's what you want to do. Um, I can tell you they move fast. Where's my Pizza Hut cup? Well, I'm actually indulging today and not having water while I do my live show. I actually have my mason jar cup. <laughs> this is what I drink all my iced coffees out of, and I think all the ice has melted, but that's my mason jar. That's what I drink my iced coffees out of. <clears throat> pizza cup is pizza hot cup is for water these are white house black market again if i find these for 99 cents i don't care what size or style they are they don't do as well as they used to or go for as much as they used to or even go as fast as they used to but there's still folks that will buy the white house black market um i would not pay full price maybe 250 on half off day or whatever but um, when they're 99 cents, yeah, I'd, I'd buy a whole rack full if they were all a dollar. Um, these are a size two. They're flare, though, so they're a cuter style. Um, I'm thinking about Maisie's question. She wants to know if I'm going to do more warning videos on Beanie Babies. Probably not. Um... I try to like not focus on just one thing at a time anymore so like when I do the what sold videos and the sourcing videos I try to teach what's good to pick up and what's not good to pick up what you should avoid I do like to show my mistakes on the what sold like I can't believe this finally sold never sourced this so I kind of like try to mix in the warnings plus the volos all together in the hauls and the what solds um, it's funny that you bring that up though because we were just talking about these in Courtney Hayes' Bolo Facebook group and ours never sold. Like if you saw the first video we ever put up on YouTube, um, it was the warning video about the Beanie Babies. We had 10 pounds of Beanie Babies and we put them on auction for 99 cents but we charged shipping on 10 pounds through FedEx I believe it was. It was really cheap. Well, cheap for 10 pounds. They got a lot of attention. They got bid up to, I want to say, 25 or 30 bucks. I didn't get an affirmation from Keith, but I want to say it was like 25 or 30. And um, they never paid. So after the unpaid item case was opened and closed, we did that second option or whatever it's called on auctions where you can offer it to the second winner. And they didn't accept it. And they let you do it one more time. Second chance, I believe is what it's called. I mean, this was in January of 2018 so you know we've already proven today that my memory is not that great but um, I do know like there were two second chances and neither one of them wanted it so while the auction was up it was really popular it was getting tons of views tons of watchers it got bid way up but the winner never paid and the two second chance option people did not want the Beanie Babies so they are still in the box that we intended to ship them in that we weighed them in all together in their little home in the little box up in the serial killer room um i kind of think that at some point i might put them back up on auction and see what happens i don't know i'd have to redo all the photos and everything though 
Bob, Bob Dream Butt. I saw some Bob Dream Butts. I never heard of those. And um, I saw them and I showed them to Keith because I am 12 years old. And I like to say things like booty short and want a better butt. And I said, look at these Bob Butt jeans. I need to start selling Bob Butt jeans. But they were not on sale. I didn't want to risk $6.99 on something new to me. And I'm too lazy to comp half the time. Um... But yeah, my Beanie Babies are still upstairs, and I probably am going to throw them back on auction at some point. Um, it's just that they do weigh 10 pounds, so it's a lot for shipping. It's a good deal to get all them Beanie Babies, you know, even if they only get a couple bids for whoever wins. It's a good deal. It's just the shipping's a lot. And since they came from the bins, they probably cost us like five bucks, maybe, because I don't even think each one weighs half a pound. All right, so Chico's so Slimming. Again, if these are 99 cents, any size, any style, any color, any wash, Chico's so Slimming is another one that I just cannot keep in stock. They get listed and they fly off of the shelf. All right, I got two t-shirts here. So I'm gonna show you these because I wanna talk about this brand real quick. And then I have my favorite jean find of the week. Well, first of all, in January of 2018, we didn't know about Pirate Ship. And second of all, on a bunch of crappy Beanie Babies I'm just trying to get rid of, on a 99 cent auction, I kind of just want to give them the cheapest ground option that is available to them and just get rid of them. And, you know, we need to have, we need to have like a whole other video and conversation on Pirate Ship because I am not impressed. I am not impressed. Maybe it's because of what we sell, but... Every time we go to use Pirate Ship, it's the same price as we would get on eBay, if not more. I don't know. I know we're not doing anything wrong because I have FaceTimed with Pirate Ship experts who walked us through it. Um, I'm just not impressed. I don't understand. Maybe it's because of what we sell, but I hear that from a lot of people that they just don't see. They don't see it because it's like always the same price or just a little bit more than eBay. So I don't know. Um, Target's fading out some brands. Shipping is expensive. Colleen says, oh yeah, yeah, like in 2018, I don't think pirate ship was even a thing. And even if it was, we were so new, we didn't know what the heck we were doing. But we check it now and again, honestly, like on shoes, things in boxes, hard goods, heavier things that aren't clothing or jeans, we do check it still, um, the box in the bag method and the other one. And every time we're like, you're kidding me. Where are people seeing these savings? Where are people seeing these cheap prices? Because it's never that way for us. Someone says things really changed for Pirate Ship after the last seller update. So, okay, let me show you this real quick. Hard Rock Cafe. Woo! We finally found a full pricer. We paid a whole buck ninety nine for this, guys. Oh, like I showed this to you without even telling you before. <laughs> the yellow tags were ninety nine cents this week. So all the stuff I've been showing you was ninety nine cents yellow tag. eBay was a lot less competitive. Hmm. But we've been messing around. That white. We've been trying to mess around with Pirate Ship for a long time now. Ever since I had Justin on my show the first time. And I want to say that was fall of last year. I'd have to look back through my videos. But anyway, this is Hard Rock Cafe. Netherlands. Netherlands. But yeah, we check it. We check on um, Pirate Ship all the time. If it's like a plush on the bottom. You know what I mean? Heavier items. Obviously, t-shirts and a poly are going to be not having savings on there, but. And we've asked for, this is Sesame Street, for advice from several people. Because we can't see that we're doing anything wrong, but we don't see the amazeball savings everyone talks about. Um, I don't know what these guys are supposed to be doing here. They're like a pop band. It's Elmo Groucho Groucho. It's not Groucho. <laughs> Oscar the Grouch, Elmo, and Cookie Monster. 
and they are dressed like pop singers. I've never heard of Gumtree. So I got three pairs of Lucky Brand jeans. Nothing too exciting. Each one was 99 cents. I got a sweet and crop size eight. Another sweet, oh, same exact size, same exact style. Sometimes that happens. You find a bunch in a row on the rack that are like similar. You think it's like the same person that donated it. Uh, Easy Rider, double zero. These are a little bit different. These are really cool though. These have like the flare and they're dark wash. Run DMC parody, cool. So I did get three pairs of Lucky for 99 cents each. Um, the thing, did someone, did someone sneak in here? Oh, there he is. Hey, Craig, welcome in. Um, the thing with Lucky brand jeans is I honestly won't pay more than 99 cents for them now. And I know that sounds super crazy, but I have seen, and just like the last year and a half, those go way down in value. Um, they're super saturated at the thrift stores, first of all. So people are getting rid of them. I don't know if they're just not popular. They're super saturated on eBay. Um, I'm lucky, <laughs> pardon the pun, I'm lucky if I can get $20 for a pair anymore. And when I first started listing and reselling, Lucky Brands were starting at 35 and 40 and they've been run down that much. They sit around for a long time. They don't sell as quickly. They don't get as much money. They're very oversaturated and I'm not, I think maybe just their popularity has run out too because I've seen more and more of them at the thrift store. Um, and Goodwill still marks them $10, $20 sometimes or $25 or $30. I've even seen crazy Goodwills do that. And so, I mean, obviously I'm not going to pay that much for them. But even the ones that don't get marked up like crazy, if they're $6.99, if they're half off, I don't care. I will only get Lucky Brown for $0.99. Cents. Um, I start them around $26. And... Um, if they're men's, I'll start them around 31 and they usually sit for a couple of months and I'll end up taking it. I either end up taking a best offer of like 20 or they'll sit long enough that we've lowered the price 5% every month that they end up at 20 before they actually move. Um, but yeah, I do. I used to start them at 25, but we've been doing this thing that we start most of our stuff a dollar more to kind of cover our costs on free returns and the USPS shipping increase. Um, you know, you're not gonna get your fees back on PayPal anymore after May 7th. So, you know, sometimes it's good to just say, you know, every year just raise your prices by 50 cents or a dollar to cover all the fees and raises that we get. So I do start them at 26 now. Um, the thing though is with the men's jeans, they sell faster and I'll list those at 31 and they move quicker and I can get the 31 for them. Sometimes even 35 if they're really like nice men's jeans, like a really good big size for men or they have like a lot of distress or rips and tears that's, you know, makes them more valuable or whatever. Um, well, the thing about used clothing though is in general, unless it's a super sought after brand or super duper looking in some way, it's very unique with really good graphics or something that's super in style, most used clothing is gonna take four months to sell or longer. So six months for a pair of Lucky this is really not that bad considering that that's not a sought after brand anymore, considering that it's saturated, there's tons and tons and tons of jeans on eBay. Um, six months isn't really that bad. Four to nine months is what most brands take. The really, really oversaturated bad brands take over nine months, you know, and then um, the really sought after stuff will move quicker and bigger sizes move quicker and stuff that's more unique. Uh, we have, hold on, let me read the question. Do you charge shipping for jeans? The majority of our jeans, I do free shipping and I build an extra $8 into the price. So if everybody else is selling, see, I don't even really comp my jeans off of other people anymore. I comp them off of what I know that I just list them at most brands. But 
for instance, if everybody was listing American Eagle jeans for 12 bucks plus eight shipping, mine are going up for 21 and it's built in and I would have free shipping on it. Um, but there are some jeans in our store, quite a few in fact, that have been sitting around for a long time, you know, in that six to nine month range. And I wanted to see if they would move if I did something different on them. So we do have some that I dropped the price by like eight bucks, put a flat charge of eight bucks shipping on them, and then offered free returns to see if they would move quicker. So um, here is my favorite jean find of the week. And before I show you the brand, I'm just gonna show you that it was 99 cents because that's the most exciting part. They're also men's jeans. Men's jeans, I love because they sell for more money and they sell quicker than women's jeans do. And the tag has writing on it and a tear, but I don't care. I'll just disclose that. Um, I won't lay flat for you to read. Can you all read that? It is Patagonia. There you go, you can see this. Anyway, there's a big letter P and it's ripped, but I don't care. 99 cents for men's Patagonia jeans. And these are a size 35. So these are my favorite, favorite, favorite find as far as jeans for the weekend. Um, on an average pair of jeans. By average, I assume you mean one of our bread and butter pairs. Um, 10 bucks, give or take, if it sells on Poshmark a little bit more. Um, but stuff like silver jeans that I, that I get 50 for, that would be, I always say 15%, give or take, for fees between PayPal and eBay. So you're looking at 750. I usually pay seven for those and they cost 750 to ship. So that's 15, 22, 50. Uh, 25, 2750 would be a profit on silver jeans. But if you mean like average, I mean, bread and butter is like 10 and then anywhere up from there. So if you averaged it out, 15, maybe 16, but more on Poshmark because they pay all the shipping. All right, guys, I haven't seen Lisa poke her head in, so we're going to go ahead and open this and um, just she'll, she can catch the replay. Full disclosure, this was pre-cut ahead of time so that y'all didn't have to watch me struggle to open the box. And I made sure that Lisa's address was off. Can you tell Mama Face I think they're cute already? Oh my gosh! Okay, I'll pick out the one that is new to me. I did not see her yet. Oh, she's cute. Look at her. She is a wee little purple hippo. Oh my gosh, she's cute. We will have to absolutely think of a name for her. She's a hug fun. Maybe she's huggy hippo. I don't know, but she is super cute. And this is the one she showed me a photo, and I'm absolutely already in love with him. His name is Hank. He already has a name. He is cute. Look at his little face. Oh, he's sparkly. I thought something felt rough. Look, he's got sparkly glitter ears and the pads of his feet are glittery. Oh, he is so soft too and squishy. The purple one is a she and this one is a he. I always kind of like just know whenever I get hippos, whenever someone sends me a new hippo, I just look at them and I just know if it's a boy or a girl. In my opinion so this is Hank I saw his picture and I thought he is a boy but if you look when you lay him down I don't know if y'all can see I'll have to get a picture of him um, and put it in the Facebook group for you guys he's kind of a little bit like a rug and he's real flat right here and then his butt sticks up 
So like he's pouncing. And oh, he's a dandy. Oh, that's why he's so awesome. Um, it's not always based on colors. Kind of just an instinctual, immediate feeling based on what I think when I look at him. Hugo the hippo, the big planter that Wade sent me, is pink. And I think he's a boy. And his name's Hugo. Um, most of the girls are pink, though. But they have bows on them, too. So, I guess if they have a bow, I think they're a girl. I don't know. But yeah, Hugo's pink. And he's a boy. And one of my blue ones is a girl. So, anyway, this is Hugo. This is not Hugo. I'm thinking of Wade Zippo. We'll name him Hank. And I will have to come up with a name for the wee little purple one. She is so super soft and cute. Um, Lisa, when you're watching this in the replay, thank you so, so, so much. They are super adorable. Both of them are absolutely cute. And I do have my shelf set up over here with all of my hippos on it. Um, I should be filming in front of it. I will be soon. We're getting some things rearranged in our eBay room. And I should be um, filming in front of the hippo shelf. And all of the hippos will be on there. Um, for the, I always play with them. I make them wave and dance. So um, <laughs> that's it for today, guys. That was the clothing portion. I will be back tomorrow. I'm going to try for around the same time, 4, 4.30 live um, with all of the plush and the shoes and the one super awesome hard good that we found that's amazing. I'll be back with that tomorrow in another live show. Um, until then, if you guys think of anything you wanted to ask that you forgot, go ahead and leave a comment down below or join our Facebook group. Link is in the description box. It's the fastest and easiest way to get a hold of me. If you tag me in there, I check that group more often than any other social media or messages. Um, like the video before you leave, it does help the channel. I have a Haley Hippo already, Maisie. That's a really cute name, but I do have a Haley Hippo already. Um, the, the worst part is, is I like all the H names, and they're all being taken up because I have so many hippos. Anyway, like the video before you guys leave, and um, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and help us feed all these hungry hippos that we have. Uh, until next time, you guys, go be productive. Go make some money. Be good to each other. Be good to yourselves. And have a good night. Bye. Love you guys. Bye-bye.